morning everybody welcome back uh, this is just a quick video on uh, what I had to do to kind of get ready for body work uh, it's been super busy the last couple seasons so I don't have a ton of work done but the car is getting bodied currently I'm, I'm making some progress incremental with that but still making progress so I'll have some more content some more progress uh, to share here hopefully within the next couple weeks and um, share the process that I'm going through but either way, right now, this is me getting it ready for um, for body, to get everything out of the way and get set up to, to spray the car and all that good stuff. So uh, thanks for sticking around. Let's check it out. Holy crap. So what I'm doing, these little stands that I built for my backyard zip line, right? Kids would jump on these, get off at the other end. Anyways, they're mine now. And I'm going to use them along with some long two by sixes to basically keep my car this high off the ground. Boom, just like that. So I took those legs off. I did some math, I lowered it down. I measured about 17 inches up from the bottom of the car, made sure I had, you know, good, good clearance, good reach if I wanted to spray the car on this. And uh, I took the wheels off of that. I took these six by sixes, I cut, this was like from earlier, but I have a little bit of an angle cut on this that matches right up with the angle on the radiator core support. I've got a couple vertical boards here that kind of fall right into here. Is this structure? No. Do I care? No. Could I put outriggers and build some fancy? Yes. Do I want to? No. All right. I've already tested it. It works just fine. I just cut these things down. Now, I mean, real simple stuff. You know what I mean? The pan, the, the undercarriage here, everything sits damn near flush. You know, nothing's being super suspended or stressed out. So let's see what it looks like when I got it all the way down. All right, before I show you what I'm looking for is I'm looking, like I know what the car looked like when it was on all fours. I know what the jams look like. I know what the door gaps look like. I know what it looks like when I put it on the lift. They open up, okay? I know what it looks like when I take all the support structure out of the front of the nose. The front of the nose drops. The back of the hood lifts up. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for the opposite of those things. I shim up this, this area here, make sure I have the car up in the position that the chassis is gonna be on final assembly. Therefore, when I do the body work, it's where it's supposed to be because that's like really crucial, right? Like you'd hate to put this thing in a position that it's not gonna end up in, do all this laser straight body work and then come to find out you can't adjust it. You can't adjust it into its correct fitment. So that's why this is really important, right? So I cut, wedge, sham, making sure everything's where it needs to be. I got good body line here. I still have a lot of work to do, but this is, pretty damn close that's great you know what I mean I got everything closed up I was rubbing the top of the door on the B pillar not anymore so it brought the back end up a little bit brought the front end up a little bit now in my opinion this is where the car is going to be and I think I'm going to paint it on this Jake I think I'm going to take this to my father-in-law's get this the hell out of here hopefully he doesn't have a heated garage anyways I'll make do um but yeah, I'm about, a, I'm, I'm literally perfect to where if I'm spraying, um, I'm not too bad here. Well, I might lose a couple pounds, might help. Anyways, that's it, folks. We're ready to get this thing out of here. We're ready to start, you know, pulling our short, short strand and start doing the real body work and uh, more to come. Let's get this thing done. All right. All right, big day. We got, um, Chassis loaded up. I was able to get my hands on a, on a trailer this morning. Got some help in the car. Man, it looks mean just without a body on it. So every time I do something like this, it gets me jazzed up, re-energized, motivated. I get to see it out in the sun regardless of a, whether or not it's a, just a chassis, no body. Motor looks super nice, all painted up. Yeah. Let's go. All right. All right, check this out. I'm not even a quarter mile from the house. Got one of these pop-up storage facilities that's going up everywhere. Tucked away, 
all my electrical, ton of good stuff. All right, here we go. I can not be distracted by this thing in the way. Let me get this thing painted. Let's go.